what is up guys welcome to a brand new video on the channel and in today's video i'll be teaching you guys how to make a youtube or twitch overlay to use in your stream now this is going to be a very simple to make overlay that does not take that much time so remember that if you guys do like this video make sure to drop a like and also let me know in the comment section what other types of tutorials you guys would like to see in the future and with that being said let's get straight into the video all right so we're gonna hit file then we're gonna hit new then make sure that it's 1280 by 720 and then hit ok and then the first thing we're gonna do Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the ruler. So if you guys don't have it, hit Control R and it should pop up. And then we're gonna put this right in the center. And then after that, we're gonna hit the rectangle. We're gonna make a rectangle probably around uh, this big right here. Uh, that should be good. You could, you guys can make it smaller or bigger, however you guys would like. And then after that, we're gonna go to a layer and then we're gonna hit rasterize layer and then after that we're gonna hit this tool right here and then we're gonna make a a triangle with it so probably like this all right so then after that we're gonna hit delete and then we go to select deselect and then we're gonna we're gonna right click on the layer duplicate layer hit ok then we go to edit and then we go to transform and then flip horizontal and then we're gonna move it right next to it right around here and then we're gonna right click merge it down and then you guys should have this so it should be just one and then after that uh, I think we're gonna change the color so blending options we go to color overlay we're gonna choose like a dark gray probably around there uh, then we're gonna bring this to like a 70 make sure you guys hit the gradient overlay and then we're gonna choose stroke and then outer glow I think the stroke I'm gonna change it to like a light blue all right so now you just hit ok and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, add some text so we hit the text and then I'm going to use Aldo the Apache, I think that's how you say it. So then we're going to, now you're going to write your name here. So name and then just hit OK. And just move this. Uh, I think I'll make it a little bit bigger. Probably around this big. Try to put it in the center. Alright, we should be good like that. Uh, then we're gonna write uh, more text. Uh, let me see. I think I'm a. We're gonna go to blending options. Uh, use a stroke. Black. And think the overlay we're gonna choose like a a blue gradient uh, I think it should be good like that and then we're gonna do a new text so for the new text I'm gonna choose a different a different font so I'm gonna choose this one right here so just put your at And then hit OK, and then we're gonna resize it, probably around this big. And then we're gonna we're gonna hit right click, duplicate layer, 
Okay, and then we're gonna move it to the other side. Uh, I guess right there. And then after that, uh, we could we could add some images. So we're gonna choose face image. Uh, we're gonna choose the Twitter image. You guys could uh, get these from Google. Just type in Twitter logo uh, PNG, and you should get this. And we're just gonna resize it right here. We're gonna make it a little bit smaller. It should be good right there. And then file. And then we're gonna add the Instagram one. And then resize it. We're gonna change the Twitter logo to uh, black. And then should be good like that. Alright guys, so this is how you make a simple overlay. Uh, it doesn't take that long to make. So after you guys are done, you know, you just hit file, export, export as, and then you hit export all. Just name it, and then it should save to wherever you guys saved it. And that pretty much wraps up today's video, so I hope you guys did enjoy it or found it helpful. And if you guys did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.